In lesson 14, we use pattern recognition to identify repeated movements and write functions. We will use decomposition to break down complex tasks, tasks into smaller repeatable sections. We will also use parameters to make functions work for multiple purposes. A parameter is an extra piece of information that you pass to the function to customize it for a specific need. You may log into your code.org account Look in the upper right and double check that it shows your username before you continue. Work on these puzzles on your own. Return to this video if you need any guidance. You may pause now and begin working. Puzzle one. Let's click edit and define this function to draw a square with 50 pixel sides. We should be pretty good at this from lesson 12. Great work! Continue working on the next puzzles. Return to this video if you need help. Pause now. Make sure to watch the video before puzzle 2. Puzzle 2. Create a draw triangle function from scratch that makes a triangle with sides of 50 pixels. Pause now and try it on your own. Great work! Continue working on the next puzzles. Return to this video if you need help. Pause now. Puzzle 3. Now let's use the function to draw five triangles in a row. Each triangle is 30 pixels apart. Let's decompose the problem into smaller chunks. We need to draw a triangle and then get into position for the next triangle and keep going like that. So we need to use a function for a triangle and we need a jump forward. We know this section is 50 pixels based on what's written in the function, and we're told that the space in between is 30 pixels. So let's jump forward 80 pixels each time, like this. going. Return to this video if you need help. Pause now. Puzzle 4. Do you notice anything different about the function blocks? Notice how they're getting smaller each time? Let's look over at the code. Draw a triangle with length and then there's a little box dangling off saying length 150. After it jumps forward we draw another triangle with length but this time dangling off is 75. And our last triangle is dangling 25. What do you think those numbers have to do with this picture? Let's look inside the function to see what it looks like in there. Move forward by length pixels. Length appears to be our parameter because it is going to vary when the function gets used. Click Run to see what happens. Great, keep going. Return to this video if you need help. Pause now. Puzzle 5. Replace the question marks in the length parameter input, input block. 
The Pentagon has 100 pixel sides. Press Run to check your work. Awesome! Continue working on the next puzzles. Return to this video if you need help. Pause now. Puzzle 6. Fill in the length parameter to draw these shapes by replacing the question marks with the right numbers. The square and the triangle have 100 pixel sides. The hexagon sides are 75 pixels long. Wonderful! Continue working on the next puzzles. Return to this video if you need help. Pause now. Puzzle 7. Complete the drawing. The sides of each triangle are 25 pixels longer than the last. The first triangle has 25 pixel sides. Great work! Keep going! Return to this video if you need help. Pause now. If you didn't watch the video at the beginning of Puzzle 8, pause and do that now. Puzzle 8. The code for this triangle function is broken. Can you edit the function to fix it and then make triangles of lengths? 25, 50, and 75. Let's click Edit to look inside. It doesn't appear that we are using the parameter block in our function, so our triangles are going to end up with side of 100 every time. Let's fix that. Okay, now let's finish the code. We draw the first triangle with length 50, 25. Jump forward. Draw the second triangle with length 50. And jump forward. Then draw the third triangle with length 75. Well, we achieved the goal, but with too many blocks. Can you think of a way we can use some kind of loop? Pause and see if you can figure out how to use a for loop here. I'm using a for loop that goes from 25 to 75, going up by 25s. Then let's replace these amounts with the variable called counter. Keep going. Return to this video if you need help. Pause now. Puzzle 9. You're halfway there. This puzzle looks similar to the last one except this time with squares. Let's edit the function to add a parameter. Just like 
puzzle eight, let's use a for loop and a counter so that the first time this runs, the parameter will be 25 and each time go up 25 more. Great job! Continue working on the next puzzles. Return to this video if you need help. Pause now. Puzzle 10. Create a draw a hexagon function block with a length parameter. This hexagon has size that are 100 pixels in length. Start in the function category. We know a hexagon has six sides, so let's use a repeat six. Our move forward will be variable, so let's use a parameter called length. And if we take 360 degrees divided by six sides, we get a turn of 60 degrees. Now let's close this and use our function with a parameter of 100 pixels. Wonderful. Continue working on the next puzzles. Return to this video if you need help. Pause now. Lesson 11. Can you figure out how to draw this shape? Edit the function to use the sides parameter. Let's start with editing the function. Add a parameter called sides. and put it here in the repeat and in the math that calculates the turn angle. Okay, now let's try to figure out what kind of shape is being spiraled around the center. The shapes will overlap each other. Can you tell what it is? It is a hexagon being spiraled six times. So let's draw a hexagon with six sides and let's assume the length is 100 like last time. To make a spiral, let's do 360 degrees divided by six hexagons. So 60 degrees of turn between each hexagon. Let's see what happens. Continue working on the next puzzles. Return to this video if you need help. Pause now. Lesson 12. Complete this drawing. The sides of all of the shapes is 100 pixels long. How many sides and what is the length of the sides for each polygon? Pause now to try. Our first polygon is three-sided with length 100. Our 
Her second polygon is four-sided with length 100. And our third polygon is six-sided with length 100. Great work, continue working on the next puzzles. Return to this video if you need help. Pause now. Lesson 13. This image is similar to the last. Can we use a for loop this time? What would we use the for loop for? The sides or the length? Right, the sides. What are the sides for these going up by? We're going three, four, five, six. So we start with three, go to six, and go up by once. What should we use for sides and length? Let's insert our polygon function and use counter for the sides and 100 for the length. Wonderful. Continue working on the next puzzles. Return to this video if you need help. Pause now. Lesson 14. Edit the draw a polygon function. It already has a sides parameter. Now let's add a length parameter. Assuming that this for loop is for the number of sides in the polygon again. What do we start with? Good. Three. What will we stop with? Good. Six. How much are we going up each time? Yes, one. So the number of sides is variable. So let's put in our counter variable. We can't just put the length in here as a constant because as the number of sides increases, the length of those sides decrease. The perimeter of each shape is 200 pixels. Take a moment and figure out what math expression we can use to figure out how long one side is based on the variable number of sides of the polygon. If we do 200 pixels divided by the number of sides, 
then that would tell us how many pixels each of the sides in the regular polygon will be. Excellent job. Continue working on the next puzzles. Return to this video if you need help. Pause now. Puzzle 15. Edit, draw a spiral edge to use length and side parameters, then recreate these shapes. The smallest side length of the square is 5 pixels. The smallest side length of the triangle is 10 pixels. The smallest side length of the hexagon is 2 pixels. All increase to 100 pixels. Let's edit our function now and add side and length parameters. Great work! Continue working on the next puzzles. Return to this video if you need help. Pause now. Puzzle 16. Now you're, you've learned everything you need to know to make a pattern like this. This exercise gives us five hints. It looks to me like he starts here with a triangle, then a pentagon, and then the number of sides keeps increasing by two each time. When he's done with the 17-sided figure, he's back where he started. He moves forward to here. Then he'd have to turn about 60 degrees to the right, and then he starts making polygons again. Let's play around and see if we can get this together. Use the hints to help you.
finish when you are done. Great work. Continue working on the last puzzle. Return to this video if you need help. Pause now. Puzzle 17, Free Play. This offers a lot of fun functions with parameters that you can try out. Play with the pen width to see how different your drawings look. Pause here and play around, or continue following along with me. finish when you're done. Great job today.